Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in my last video I uploaded, I said I was gonna make a whole review about this one item I showed in the beginning and that is this, the Alicia Satinwear Healthy Green Cushion. In my Style Vano video, I only talked about this cushion briefly and that's just because I believe this cushion deserves its own individual video just because I was pretty amazed by it and also I realized that this cushion doesn't have that many reviews on YouTube, especially this shade in particular. I'm really excited to demo and talk about this cushion foundation for you guys, but first, before I put on any foundation, I need to do some skincare. I'll just be doing a speed review of something I've been trying out recently, and that is this, the Tokable Bio Watery Sun Cream. This is actually not my first time talking about this sunscreen, however, I just never opened it because I only showed it briefly in the Style Cream haul last year. Even though I got a sunscreen last year, I wasn't sure when I was going to actually start using it just because I have so many sunscreens in my collection, and I don't like to open too many at once because they do get bad eventually. So this was kind of just untouched in my collection for a long time, but it was not until I watched Korean YouTubers rave about how this is really good as a base item for before makeup, and then that's when I realized that I should probably try it out now and see if their word is true. For a quick description of this product, this sunscreen is said to be a lightweight sunscreen that's said to feel like a serum. It also contains naturally extracted ingredients to help calm the skin and I was actually pretty surprised to see that these natural ingredients were pretty high on the list. This sunscreen is also moisturizing because it contains something called biohaluronic acid and when you apply the sunscreen to your face, you're left with a matte and satin finish that does not feel sticky at all. As for my general thoughts on the sunscreen, even though I used it only a few times, I actually really like this sunscreen for what it is. I would have to agree with the Korean YouTubers who said that this was a really good product as your base makeup before applying foundation. This sunscreen is just really lightweight and it blends into your skin really quickly. I really use this sunscreen on different occasions, so like when I just do skincare or when I'm wearing makeup. And as a makeup base, this definitely does, did not give me any pilling at all, which is good. Like here, I'll rub really harshly on my skin right now and yeah, like no pilling. But I would say that also depends on the skincare you have before using the sunscreen. Just for this video, because I am going to apply foundation on, I only have like a toner and a serum on. And that's just the right amount of skincare for me personally. However, if you're dry skin, you might not want to skip on the moisturizer step and rely on this alone. I would say that the only downside of the sunscreen is that it is pretty fragrance. So I wasn't really sure what this fragrance was like until I took a walk outside my neighborhood and I passed by this plumeria tree and I was like, oh my god, this is exactly how the sunscreen smells like. That was a pretty random story, but pretty much yes, this sunscreen does smell like a flower. However, for some reason, this floral scent doesn't really bother me whenever I apply the sunscreen on and it actually kind of fades away and you forget about it. But if you really do not like fragrance in your sunscreen, then you should probably not be using this one from Tokobo. So now that I prepped my skin, I can finally talk about this Unleashed Your Cushion. So this is the Unleashed Your Satin Wear Healthy Green Cushion in the shade 21N Abernian. And what makes this Unleashed Your Cushion special is that it is a vegan formula with a triple function of sun protection, whitening, and wrinkle repair. I wrote down some notes to talk about the formula more in depth just because Alicia really promotes this item as a skincare makeup product. So according to its description, this cushion contains soothing ingredients like papaya fruit extract, bakuchio, and parsley extract. I'm not sure if I said that right just because I heard it's bakuchio. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll just say bakuchio. And if you heard the bakuchio before, it is pretty popular amongst the Korean beauty scene and now even the western skincare. So it's pretty much just said to be like a plant-based alternative to retinol. And this natural ingredient is said to tackle skin issues like hyperpigmentation, acne, and wrinkles. In my opinion, even though this Alicia cushion says to contain a lot of soothing ingredients that will help your skin, I should also remind you guys that this is the ingredients list for the cushion. And as you can see, those natural ingredients and also the Bakuchio is pretty low on the list. So this is definitely not going to be like a skincare item. If you really want to experience the benefits of Bakuchio for your skin, then you should definitely get a Bakuchio focused skincare product just because the Bakuchio in this cushion is really low on the list. This cushion is said to give you a semi-matte and sand finish with light coverage and that is due to the formula being made of 76% water essence. And as for its shade range, I would say it's pretty limited compared to other cushion foundations in the market. And as you can see here, there are four shades available. However, I think that most sites only carry three. So after reading those reviews, I was a lot more intrigued and curious about this Unleashed Your Cushion. And for some reason, really great timing, Jose, when they did their free shipping sale, this cushion was only $9.99. And that is when I just knew I had to grab this cushion to try for you guys. 
All right, so that's enough talking about the formula. Let's finally get into putting on this foundation. This is how the inside of the cushion looks like. And as you can see here, it is definitely not like your typical cushion foundation. So another big key point about this foundation is that it is packaged like this, where you can actually, your foundation actually comes in a separate cartridge that you insert. So that's also really good for refills. And they also say that this packaging where you can dispense your foundation from these holes is a lot more hygienic than your typical cushion foundation. As you can see, when it comes to normal cushion foundations, it comes with this soak sponge. But the downside is that whenever you use it, it is a lot more prone to drying out, which I've experienced in the past with my cushion foundations I own. And besides drying out, the foundation inside the cushions are more prone to growing bacteria just because you're exposing it to air and you're also going in with like your usual cushion puff. So knowing all that, I would say that this is a really nice idea for cushion package design from Unleashia. However, I would say there is a minor downside for this kind of packaging. So as you can see, it comes in this ring of tiny holes that you dispense. However, I feel like when you apply the foundation, you still kind of have to like smudge it either here or like some other kind of surface because when you just apply your cushion puff directly on this ring, then it looks like this. And it does not make for an even application of foundation. And now to finally apply this foundation on my face. Actually, in my shorts video where I duped the Picasso spatula, I used this foundation. But this will actually be my first time applying it on camera for you guys. So let's just squeeze it out like this. And then I'll just wipe it off and I'll put it on the back of my hand. This is generally how much foundation comes out from one pump. And I would say this is probably enough if you want to do like a really natural light coverage look. Look what I brought here today, guys. It is that same Daiso butter knife from the shorts I did. And I'm just going to use it to apply this Alicia foundation. Let's just do one side of my face first. So just like this. Ooh, I kind of have put too much. Oof. Okay. Just gonna wanna thinly spread it. And then with your puff, you're gonna wanna quickly blend it into your skin just because this thin layer will dry out pretty quickly. And just a small nut, I do kind of uh, spray toner onto my cushion puffs just for that increased hydration. So this is half of my face with the Alicia cushion on. And as you can see, there's a really huge difference. This side, this side's a lot more pink, naturally. <laughs> Here's how full face of the shade 21N looks like on my face. And as you can see from this close, it really is meant to give you a lightweight coverage. So you can still see my blemishes and dark circles underneath. I also do have a lot of product left over my hand and that's just because I didn't really do my whole face because I'm too lazy to touch this forehead. But I guess this means if you want to do a light natural look, you only need like half a pump. I actually have a lot to say about this cushion foundation, but first let me just get over my first impression. So as you can see on camera, my face is glowing right now in a good way. Just like the description said, you can definitely see that semi-matte satin finish. It might be a bit more glowy right now just because I have this lighting and I did use this Bio Watery Sun Cream earlier. But right now on camera, I think it looks really good and I like how it matches my neck. I just really like how lightweight and natural this cushion feels and looks like on my skin. Another thing to note about this foundation is that there's also no scent at all, which is really good. And it also claims to be strong fixing and long lasting. For the first claim, I would say that this foundation really did adhere to my skin pretty well. Um, <laughs> I do see some dry patches, but that's just because I'm on retinoid. Can't really do much about that. As I tap on my face, I'm not really getting much product on my fingers, so I guess they were right when it comes to the adhesion factor. I also believe that adhesion is also due to this spatula technique I used to apply the foundation. Um, th there's a reason why the spatula technique is really popular in Korea, and that's because it creates a thin layer of foundation on your skin. And apparently, the thinner layer helps the foundation adhere to your skin better. And that's why I haven't stopped using this ever since I bought it from Daiso. As for the foundation's lasting power, I would have to say that they were right when they said that this would last long on your skin. So I actually did do a day wear test for this foundation and I did not powder at all. I did the same um, skincare routine as this one and I only found it a bit oily near the end. But that's just because I didn't apply any powder at all in the beginning just to see exactly how this foundation would look like on my skin throughout the day. Funny story, but the day I decided to try out this foundation last weekend, it was also the day I was going to start exercising. <laughs> so I actually wore this foundation after a 30 minute jogging exercise that made me sweat. And I was really surprised by how much the foundation still stayed on despite the sweaty exercise. As you can see in this picture, this was me getting back home and removing part of my makeup. And I was just shocked at how red my skin actually was underneath. I can definitely say that this is one of the cushions out there that will stay on your face for like the whole day.
or at least like um like six to eight hours hi it's me um four hours later after filming that video and this is how my face looks like with the unleashed cushion still on and something i forgot to mention in that video is that i feel like over time the shade kind of adjusts to your original skin tone at the time when i was filming the video since i just freshly applied that foundation it looked really bright on me but now that some time has passed i feel like the foundation kind of oxidized or changed colors a bit to actually match my skin tone and that's something i actually noticed when i first applied this but i wasn't sure if i was just tripping or not but i actually happened to find a reddit post that was making the same observation i did so the alicia foundation is not gonna completely change its color it's just gonna slightly um, adjust to your original skin over time i did not apply any powder on top of this foundation when i first applied it so this is really how it looks like on your skin after a few hours so just some stuff I noticed is that yeah my nose is always gonna be really oily so this is probably the part of my face with the most separation like you can kind of see here it's already uh, building up at the crevices of my nose but according to their official pictures they say that as time goes by the skin glow rises and collapses neatly maintaining pretty skin for a long time so I can definitely see what they meant by that claim because despite just like the slightly oily areas I have, it still looks really good on my face right now. I can definitely see that glow, especially against this lamp right here. If you're someone who doesn't like too much glow in your face, you can definitely tone it down a bit with a mattifying powder. It's just that this time for this try-on that I filmed, I did not put any powder at all. So this is just the real results. So despite some oily areas, this cushion still looks really good on my face a few hours after filming. Alright, and probably the biggest thing I have to address about this cushion is the shade 21N in person versus in the pictures. So like I said earlier, a lot of the reviews I read on this shade in particular said that it ended up looking a lot brighter than the typical 21. And I would have to say that those reviews are definitely right. This is not a 21 at all. I'm not sure why Unleashia labeled it as a 21N just because this is more like a 20. But actually after comparing this foundation to the other ones I own in my collection, this is more like a 19. When I first watched this foundation on my hand, I really thought, whoa, it really is a lot bright like the review said. I would have to say right now on camera, it really looks like a, a perfect match for my neck. But in person, it my face actually looks a bit brighter than the rest of my body. I mean, based on the Korean side of beauty YouTube, there are definitely a lot of videos I've seen where the people like to have that mismatched look, like their face looking a lot uh, brighter than their necks. Kind of just like K-pop idols too. <laughs> So for me, I personally don't really mind that slight mismatch. However, if you're someone who really wants to like match exactly with your neck, then you'll probably not want to get this 21N shade. I also find it weird that Unleashia categorizes this as a neutral shade. However, when I swatch it on my hand, it is definitely a lot more yellow. And as you can see from this comparison right here, this Unleashia on 21N is a lot more yellow than the other foundations. I would have to say that this Unleashia cushion is the brightest foundation I own in my collection. So even though my face can pass with this really bright shade, I would have to be really careful when it comes to application because I noticed that when I try to do the normal uh, sponge puff type application, I have the <laughs> I have the risk of applying too much so my face looks a lot more white and mismatched. So that's why whenever I apply this Unleashia cushion, I use this spatula instead because that's how it provides that really even thin coverage so I don't overdo it. So in conclusion, when it comes to the shade 21N, I think it is not the same as it is being described in the official description. So you should be wary of that. And it is a lot more yellow and a lot brighter than a typical 21. So if you're a pale person who wears foundation shades from 19 to 20 and you are also warm tone, then this Unleashed Cushion is probably the best choice for you because a lot of those lighter foundations in Korea go a lot more pink based. And if you're lucky like me, you can actually find this Unleashed Cushion online for a really cheap price. I found it for $9.99, but usually it goes for like, I don't know, let's just say 20 bucks. But you can get this Unleashia cushion pretty much anywhere that sells Korean beauty. As someone who really fell in love with this Unleashia cushion, I would say to keep your eyes on major K-beauty websites just because they will have this Unleashia cushion on sale for special occasions. If you can find this for like $15, then I would highly suggest you get it. Something else I forgot to mention is that this Unleashia cushion is a vegan formula, which means that you can only use it for a certain time before it gets pretty bad. So on the website, they suggest to use it for only 100 days for the best look. 
I'm not really someone who wears foundation on a daily just because I'm more prone to breakouts. So I'm hoping that I'm a bit more diligent when it comes to this one just because it is only meant for 100 days of use. But at least on the bright side, you can buy the refills really easily online. I'm just so impressed by this cushion from Alicia. I can't believe how long it took me to actually try it. But that's mostly just because I thought they wouldn't carry my shade. So for people who are pale and warm toned and looking for a really natural light coverage foundation, this is probably the best one I've ever tried. Alright, and that concludes my review of the Alicia Satin Wear Healthy Green Cushion in the shade 21N. I'm so glad I was finally able to show you guys how this foundation is like on camera. And I'm hoping that this video is going to be really helpful for people who are wondering if the shade 21N is going to be right for them or not. So as always, if you like this video, don't forget to click on the like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!